Hello everybody, my name's Alan and you're watching Guns, Gear, and Outdoors Alaska. Today we're going to be testing 44 Magnum versus 10 millimeter for bear defense. And to do that, we'll be shooting this Ruger Red Hawk with a five and a half inch barrel and 44 Magnum. And this Glock 20 in 10 millimeter. So these, we're going to do two different tests. We're going to do a penetration test to see Test, test for that, test for power, and we're gonna do a speed and accuracy test. So I picked these two pistols because I think they're a good, good representation of uh, pistols in each of those cartridges. For the most part, when you're talking about a 10 millimeter, you're talking about a semi-auto, and for the most part, when you're talking about a 44 mag used for bear defense, you're gonna be talking about a revolver for this. So it should be a good platform for comparison. So let's get into it. So this is the target we're going to be using for our penetration test. We have a 2x6 and then we have some of our 5 8 inch spruce boards and then at the end we have another 2x6. We're kind of limited on what scrap wood we got lying around so this is what I came up with. I'm not really sure what to expect for penetration from these two cartridges but let me show you these cartridges. So for 44 Magnum we're going to be using the HSM bare load it's got a 305 grain hard cast flat nose bullet. And for the 10 millimeter, we're gonna be using also the HSM bear load. And this has a 200 grain hard cast flat nose bullet. So this, this target doesn't really represent anything. It's just a consistent medium to test the two targets. But the reason we're testing penetration is that's that's really the name of the game when it comes to defense against large animals. You want to, it's a lot more important than expansion. You want to make sure that that bullet can get to the central nervous system or vital organs through heavy bone and hide and muscle and things like that. So let's take a few steps back and shoot and see what happens. All right, we're back from our target about four yards. We're going to start off with the 10 millimeter. Let's see how this goes. Let's go check it out. All right, we just shot our target with the 10 millimeter up at the top. Went through our first two by six, through this one, this one, this one. Good straight line penetration tracking. We cracked this board right in the middle. And then this one right here, broke it right in half. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 boards and we got our projectile right here. Let me fish it out and show you guys. This is pretty cool. This is what I'm talking about here. No, no expansion at all on that, which is what you're looking for. It just tracks straight, good penetration. And we made it through all but the last two boards, the last five eighths inch spruce and the last two by six. So yeah, let's, let's head back and see if the 44 Magnum can beat it. Okay, next up. Got the Ruger Red Hawk 44 mag, 305 grain HSM bear load. Woo. Never shot one of those squatting before. Let's go check it out. All right, now that's, that's what I call a result. Through the boards here, absolutely demolishing that splintering, cracking boards, breaking through. A lot more damage than the 10 millimeter, and it just wait till you see our 2x6 at the end. Launched it all the way off the back, but it didn't penetrate. Wow! So I think this dark mark is where the 44 Magnum hit. I'm never gonna find that bullet in the snow, but. It penetrated, yeah, one more board than the 10 millimeter, but it had a lot more energy to it. It really wreaked havoc on our target. And one thing we want to keep in mind too, this 10 millimeter bullet is 40 caliber. The 44 Magnum bullet is 43 caliber. So you got a little bit more diameter there, got a little bit more weight, there's more power. This is definitely seeing it on this target, the more effective of the two rounds. The 10 millimeter had good penetration. The 44 Magnum had great penetration. So let's, let's move on to our next test. 
All right, for our speed and accuracy test, we have our cantankerous bear target about seven yards downrange. I'm gonna start with the 44. I got it in the chest holster. So we're gonna run a three second timer. So the timer will beep, I'll draw, I'll shoot as many times as I can, get as many hits on the bear as I can, and then stop it for three seconds. So as many hits on the bear as I can in three seconds. It's a little chilly out here in my fingers, but let's, let's see how it goes. This will be fun. All right, had three seconds, I got three shots off. Let's go check out the hits. Okay, so in three seconds, we got three hits on the bear with the 44 mag. These two are looking pretty good. This one's kinda eh, marginal. Let's head back and do it two more times with this gun and then we'll switch to the 10 millimeter. Okay, let's do two more rounds on the speed target with the 44 mag. I think I stopped. I didn't do it right. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, timer didn't work right. We'll put over here how many I actually got in the three seconds. I got four shots off. Okay, last run shooting the 44 mag. <laughs> oh, last shot off was after the buzzer, so I got to Minus two from my score over there. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're done shooting the 44 Magnum. I uh, X these two out because I think those shots happen after our three second time limit. But yeah, pretty, pretty good group on his face. Usually I could consistently get three shots off from the holster in three seconds. With the 44 Mag, we got one kind of marginal hit up here, but Hey, that's okay. Let's step back and shoot the 10 millimeter. Okay, three seconds from the holster with the 10 millimeter. Let's do it. Not sure exactly when that second beep happened, but I can tell I can shoot this thing a lot faster than the 10 millimeter or than the 44 Magnum. Let's go check it out. Okay, so that was a lot faster. We determined that two of those were after the buzzer. These uh, 10 millimeters are orange pasties up here, but we still got five shots on target in three seconds versus the three that we were getting consistently with the 44 mag. So let's go back and shoot this one two more times and draw some conclusions about the speed and accuracy of these two pistols. 10 millimeter, round two. Okay, pretty fast again. Let's do one more. All right, last one with the 10 millimeter. Stop. We actually got that one stopped in time. Let's go check it out. Okay, now that's, that's what I call a result. Here we got our green 44 Magnum hits. We X'd out the ones on all of them we went over the time for. We're not using a real shot timer. We don't have one. So we're doing the best we can. It's not as loud as a real shot timer, so I didn't quite hear it every time. But I think we got, we got the gist of what's happening here. The 10 millimeter is a lot easier to shoot quickly and accurately. We got a total of 18 hits with the 10 millimeter and eight hits with the 44 mag. All pretty decent hits, but that's a pretty big difference. Let's uh, step back and draw some conclusions. Okay, so that was really fun. That was interesting results. So what's the verdict? Which one of these two pistols is better for bear defense? And I think the answer to that one is, it depends on what you're doing and who you are and your personal preferences. We can see the, the semi-auto, it's got better capacity, you can shoot it faster, it's more accurate, but it's not quite as powerful as the, the 44 Magnum revolver. But the 44, you got that awesome power we saw in the 
penetration board in comparison to this one, but it's slower to shoot, it's a little bit harder to shoot accurately, and it's in most most cases it's heavier. Maybe one of those scandium frames, Smith and Wessons would be lighter, but then you're gonna make the problem of being able to shoot quickly and accurately even worse. So I own both of these pistols for a reason, because I can't make up my mind which one's better, so it's up to you guys. It depends on your personal preferences, whatever situation you're in, and what you can shoot better. Shoot shoot the most powerful gun you can shoot well. But I feel comfortable in bear country with both of these guns, and usually if I'm trying to go a little bit lighter weight, I'll take this, because 15 round magazines, usually only have to carry one or two magazines. It's a lot lighter than this one. But sometimes, I, when weight isn't a factor, I like the extra power of the 44 mag. So, thanks guys for watching. This was this was a really fun video to make. I want to thank my, my girlfriend for making the bear target. It's really cool. It was a lot of fun to shoot at. So, like and subscribe if you think I deserve it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks guys. Have a good one.